Hey guys, it's Jim. How you doing? I am uh, talking about sun flares in this video and how to create them in Luminar. Uh, you see a lot of photos online where they got this cool like golden light coming in from sort of out of frame. And uh, you know, many times they may have actually shot it with that golden light coming in, but if they didn't, uh, perhaps you didn't know, but you can go in and create that same effect in Luminar with, uh, with a few of the tools here. So I've got three photos. I'm gonna walk you through the, uh, the different examples and uh, show you what we got. So I'm gonna start here with this photo. This is Dunatar Castle in Scotland. It's uh, super cool. And uh, I just grabbed it because it's get, got a sky that doesn't look at all like uh, golden lights coming in. So we're gonna, we're gonna change that and uh, mess around a little bit with it. So I'm gonna start with a couple of these, uh, these filters. Um, first I'm gonna do is warm up the photo uh, because of course if golden light is coming in, you don't want a really cool photo, uh, temperature cool, right? Where it's bluish and then have golden light coming in because the golden light's gonna make things look golden. So you sort of want it to make sense. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of the golden hour and then maybe just bump up smart tone. So I've just changed the look of the photo here a little bit, maybe a little too much. Uh, but again, you know, we're just kind of experimenting here. So here's how you do this. You just go in, you add a new layer, add an adjustment layer, and I'm gonna use uh, just two filters, color temperature and exposure. And then I'm gonna grab the gradient mask, which is over here, and I'm gonna drag this gradient over here, and I'm gonna just kind of move this around. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna warm up that gradient mask, and I'm gonna bump up the exposure. And boom, there you go, right? It looks like the sun is beaming in here. Let me, uh, I'm gonna probably th uh, thicken this or broaden it, uh, the scope of it, if you will. But the bottom line is, I've just dropped a gradient mask. Let me hit apply. And then, you, you know, you can move these sliders around if you wanna warm it up and maybe uh, brighten it even. But let me show you what this layer did. That's where we were, right? Really not a lot of sun inside. It was late afternoon, very cloudy, uh, very sort of dramatic, which is great. I love that kind of photo. But what we're talking about here is doing that. And that is uh, really just creating a golden sort of uh, incoming sun flare. So that's one example. And that's how you do it really in all these examples. I'm just going to show you a couple of uh, other ones. Where's the other one? Oops, here we go. Okay, so in this one, a couple of birds. I shot this at a zoo like seven or eight years ago. It just happens to be a uh, one that I thought would make a decent example. So uh, don't judge. <laughs> it's a really old photo, um, but uh, you know, I thought it would work. So I'm going to do the same kind of thing here. Just sort of get this thing looking a little bit better and uh, just create a little bit more contrast, a little bit better looking photo. Hey, you know, you do what you can on a seven or eight year old photo. I didn't know what I was doing, to be honest. I'd point the camera and shoot. Um, but here we go. I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to go do the same thing as I did before color temp and exposure. And this time I'm gonna do the gradient from over here. So I'm gonna do something like that. And then, you know, once again, just bump up the, uh, the temperature and the exposure. And that's kind of cool, right? I like how that comes in. It looks like almost like the, uh, uh, I don't know what kind of bird it is. Uh, somebody help me here. Anyway, it's like a big parrot. I don't know what you call it. I'm no, uh, uh, well now I can't think of the word, ornithologist, there we go. Sorry, you didn't come here for that. Um, okay, so that's what I would do in this case. I think that looks cool. And I might bring this a little more like that. Uh, no, no, I think I'll back it up. Anyway, let me hit apply. Uh, again, you can mess with the golden tones and the exposure here by just moving that around. But here's another trick. Um, so let's say you wanna actually put the sun in there. So I'm gonna add a new adjustment layer and I'm gonna do the same thing, color temp and exposure. But this time I'm gonna use the radial, right? So I'm gonna go drop a radial mask here, right? Now, the thing is you gotta invert these guys or else you're gonna be uh, messing with you know, all the rest of the image. I wanna just mess with inside the circle. And then we do the same thing. I'm gonna make it golden and I'm gonna make it really bright. And there you go. That's a different way of doing it if you want to look like the sun itself is basically beaming in. So I could just hit apply. Let me show you what that layer did right, and the previous layer. So we went really from, now that was just a couple of filters on the base layer, but the first layer, I added the sun flare coming in, and then in this, uh, this next layer, layer two, I added a radial mask and allowed me to demonstrate what, the, uh, what it would look like if the sun really was like a big bright ball kind of beaming there. And I can do that one more time. Let me show you, I've got another photo here. Here we go. Um, 
In this case, I'm actually shooting straight into the sun. It was a sunrise on the Texas coast. I'm not going to mess with filters uh, on the base layer for adjustment purposes. I'm just going to go straight into what I just did, which is color temp and exposure with the radial mask. Here we go, radial mask, and I'm going to drop that right on top of the sun. And uh, again, invert, because otherwise it'll adjust everything outside of the circle. And then just come over here and, you know, again, just play with it. Now you might, uh, there you go. I mean, look at that. So I've got, uh, let me show you, turn the layer off, right? The sun clearly, you know, coming straight at me, but much more interesting effect there. Now it's a little too round, you know, you could go in and adjust the filter, but you could also just add another layer and then come in with uh, color temp and maybe golden hour and just sort of bump these things up just to give the entire photo a warmer look. It just depends on what you're looking for in terms of the, uh, the outcome, but the point is you have a lot of options. Um, primarily I do this with the gradient mask, but as I've show, shown you uh, in this photo and the one prior, you can also do it with a radial mask if you want to get sort of a circular type of look. Again, a little too tight here on the edit in terms of the feathering, but you can adjust that. Um, but that's how you do it. Just add a lens flare, or excuse me, a sun flare, and uh, it's just kind of fun. It's a different way to create an interesting look. A lot of people use this in portraits. Maybe it's a couple in the woods getting an engagement shoot, and you can have the light coming in and warm it up. It looks great with fall images. Really, the, uh, the options are limitless. So just have fun, and that's how you do it. Let me know if you have any questions. See you next time, friends. Thanks. See ya. Bye.